Hey money loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, I will be showing you guys me sewing on my wig. So we're going to secure this thing, okay? And if you guys want to see how to do that and get your hair to be moving around like this, and then just keep on watching. I first wanted to start out by letting you guys see the hair right out of the box. This hair is from Wiggins, their loose deep wave wig. This wig has three combs, two in the front, one in the back, and two adjustable straps. This is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig, and the lace is transparent. Now, I will have the rest of the information about this wig down below, but this wig is pre-plugged, you guys. I did not have to plug this wig at all, which I absolutely love. and made this process so much easier. On to applying this wig, I did use the ball cap method for this hair. And if you guys want to see that, definitely go check that out. I do have a video of that on my channel. As you guys can see, I am using needle and thread. I have about five needles. Um, this is what they look like, they're curved. And I went ahead and threaded them. Arms length, so I'll have enough. And I cut the lace off the back of the wig so I don't have to worry about that once I put it on. Getting right into putting this wig on. This wig fit me so well. I do have it in a large cap size so I can have enough room and space to manipulate it. So this is what the wig looks like right on my head. Lays super flat and I can already tell I'm going to have to cut the lace and make it shape my ear. It's very important for you guys to make sure the wigs are customized to your ear or to your head and I'm going to be showing you guys how I customize it to my head. I just parted where the lace goes over my ear and as you guys can see that right there, that's how much I'm going to be cutting off. So when and if you guys plan on doing this, make sure you take your time doing this process so you don't cut yourself. I did have to speed this part up in the video just so it doesn't take too long because I did take my time when doing this, you guys. By doing this, it will help the wig lay flatter on your head and whenever you do plan on putting it on again, it'll just slide right on and fit you like a glove, just like how it's looking on my head right now. Now that I'm done with that side, I am going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. You guys pretty much get the concept, so I'm just going to skip right over that. Now that the wig is shaped to my head, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the parting space in this wig. The parting space literally goes almost to the back of my head. Like, it's so much parting space especially around the middle area of this wig it does have a good amount on the perimeter as well from ear to ear now i'm just going to show you guys where i'm going to be sewing at at first i'm going to sew around the back of the frontal first so that's going to be from ear to ear and that's going to prevent the wig from sliding back so I'm just going to pin up the front of the hair and then I start sewing. If you guys are doing this by yourself, you're not going to be able to see pretty much anything. So I'm using the mirror I have in front of me as well as feeling around with my fingers just to make sure everything is in place and it's not looking all janky and stuff in the back or in the side or wherever I plan on sewing. So make sure you guys are feeling around and take your time again because you don't want to stab yourself with these sharp needles. And what I'm sewing to is the braid or twist, flat twist. If you guys know how to braid, you can flat twist. That's why I said that. And the cap underneath, just to give it an extra layer. And that's what I'm using. I'm not sewing anything down 
to my scalp or poking myself so be careful that's why i said take your time i don't really know how to tell you guys how to sew something but i just hope you guys can see it and learn that way i'm just sticking the needle through and making sure that needle is between the loop that way it'll tighten that thread up and if i want to not that thread up i do a loop it around twice and I tie that off and to secure the end of the thread i'm just going to tie it in a double knot sometimes i do triple depending on how secure i want the thread to be that was the end of that thread but i am going to take another um needle and thread and sew all the way to the other ear but i'm not going to show you guys that on camera because you pretty much get what i'm doing when it comes to that part so this is how the wig is now and you guys can see it's not going anywhere so now to secure it in place from moving it from side to side i am going to part it on each side so this is the side i'm going to actually show you guys and this is where i ended up parting it at i kind of wish i parted it a little bit further closer to my ear but either way it still came out good and I decided not to do a clean part because the thread blends a lot better when you don't have a clean part. So I'm doing pretty much the same thing I did when I sewed the frontal down and now I'm just doing the same thing to this. And for the sides, I do like to do more double knotted threads than I do for the back of the frontal because it's the lace and I don't want it to rip through. So. If you guys want the lace to stay in place, I do suggest doing double knots. Another thing about this, I don't like to sew it all the way to the front of the lace. Just in case I decide to do like a flip over method with the hair so like no part and you don't see the thread. So I didn't sew it all the way to the front of the lace. But you, if you guys want to, to have it more secure, then I definitely do that. But I feel like you would need to do that anyway. So this is how far I went up with sewing it. And that's all I'm going to do on that side. And I did the same thing to the other side, but parted it a little bit lower. Um, again, I'm not going to show you guys the opposite side. But that is pretty much it when it comes to securing the wig from side to side. This is how the wig is looking now that the front is secured. And I'm just going to trim the lace down just a little bit to get it out of my face. And to see what it will look like once the wig is glued down. But then I'm just going to show you guys what the hair looks like up in a ponytail. So it is secured enough for you guys to stop right there and just use the one comb in the back. But I am going to show you guys how I sew down more of the wig. So you guys see that this wig is not going anywhere, sweetie. Now for those of you that want more security, I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I'm going to be sewing around both ears and I start from the top of each ear and sew all the way right before you get to the sideburn. So like where your ear stops, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna sew all the way to the front of the lace. I'm just gonna stop right where my ear ends on the lace. So I actually was going to show you guys how I did both ears, but my camera shut off when I did the other ear. So we're just going to move on to the back. And this is what the back looks like. My kitchen is trying to grow back, so ignore that. Yeah, so so down the back, I did part off a little bit of the back of the wig just to get in between so you don't see where the thread is. So. If you guys don't want the thread to be visible, definitely part some of the hair out of the way and sew in between those tracks. And that'll be pretty much it with sewing down the back of the wig. This method would also work for those of you that have a 360 wig. This method would actually be perfect because that way you'll have little short baby hairs in the back and it will look natural. 
So as y'all saw, I'm just using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette just to go ahead and tint my lace. I don't like to use any sprays or anything. So I'm just using some powder that matches my skin tone and putting that along the hairline of the lace just to give you guys the insight of what it will look like and it blends right into my skin color and my scalp so i'm just going to do that to the rest of the front of the lace and where i feel like i'm going to part of that in the future and that's going to be it when it comes to blending the lace into my skin so now i'm just going to go ahead and start applying the lace to my skin and I'm going to start in the front. You guys know if you watch me that I apply my wigs in portions. So this is like a new method that I'm doing. And I'm just cutting portions of the lace off first. I discovered that doing it this way helps with what I'm applying the wig with. You guys will see that I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue spray. And I use that sometimes and gives me a white cast, especially when I'm using transparent lace but this will help not leave a white cast and I'm gonna show you guys how once I go ahead and spray that on there and blow dry it on cool. So I find that the reason that I got to be spray leaves a white cast is because I usually use my fingers to press down the lace, but you guys see that I'm using a popsicle stick that I got from the craft store and a comb to press the lace in. And I do that interchangeably with the comb and the, the stick and that helps the spray melt the lace down and leave no cast at all. So if you guys are wondering how to do that without causing the cast, definitely don't use your fingers. So that's pretty much all I do when it comes to applying the wig especially with the spray this is really really quick and easy for you guys to do and if it does start to lift you guys can just change it out and clean it up as you wish i don't mean remove the wig i mean just wiping the excess spray off and reapplying the spray and this is so much easier than doing the glue method and all of that and where it glue loose you guys so i'm going to be showing you guys this side and not the other side so I hope you guys are pretty much understanding what I'm doing. Sewing your wigs down and doing this spray or gel method can also help you guys from having to get your hair done so often. So whenever you guys go get your hair done, try and see if you can get it sewn down and it'll last way longer. And try not to use glue too, because then you'll be able to take care of it by yourself, which is always a bonus. If any of you guys are up to it, you probably can do this by yourself. It's really, really not hard, you guys. Just take your time and it's a no-brainer, trust me. What you really have to do with maintaining this is just tie your hair up every night and it should last you a while. And I mean a while. So that's pretty much all it is when it comes to applying your wig, sewing it down and using a glueless method is really really not difficult y'all and right now i'm just showing you guys the parting space on the wig and then i'm just going to go ahead off camera and spray the wig with some mortar and that will be all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video bye you guys